I feel like we're kind of on a roll here. I mean, two weeks ago, we talked about the best way to wash your hair in the shower, followed by a video revealing the truths about sulfates and parabens. So why not round out the season with some good old fashioned hair and skincare health tips. So today I plan on outlining some basic principles so that you can have some better hair and skin. Let's go ahead and make this as digestible as possible. If you missed the previous two videos, they will be linked up here and in the description down below. And thank you to Bulk Ohm for sponsoring today's video. Really the shower tips that we covered a few weeks back is a great place to start. Long story short, try to wash your hair as little as possible. Maybe that's two times or three times a week. When it comes to conditioner, use that right after you finish shampooing and try to let that conditioner stay in your hair for as long as possible. That's the real, real brief rundown and I covered it in, in a lot more detail in that shower video, which I said again, it's linked down below. Now I wanna cover some tips that are both beneficial to hair and scalp because you know, I realized that we don't really talk about the scalp, the scalp, the scalp all that often. And maybe that's my bad for not covering it enough, but I I feel like the scalp is one of those things that's just easy to overlook. You know, you've got hair on top of the scalp, can't really see the scalp, so maybe you just don't think about it that often. But not today, we're gonna get into it, and scalp, believe it or not, is part of your skin. So that will transition nicely to our skincare tips later on in this video. First, a little interesting fact for you, the scalp has a lower barrier function, which effectively means that it's not as proficient at maintaining moisture and hydration compared to other skin elsewhere found on your body. In other words, your scalp has to work a little harder to maintain the moisture that maybe your face does, which is another reason why you don't want to be washing your hair too often because that directly impacts the dry level that your scalp could be experiencing as well. And here's the thing though, healthy hair starts with a healthy scalp. And this brings us to the topic of hair healthy products because ideally you can have a product that benefits the scalp and the hair at the same time. I mean, they're both found in the same region. And there are so many options that we have these days. I mean, we've got hair masks, leave-in conditioner, hair serums, the list goes on. And while I have no problem with any of these products, if they actually perform as advertised, a good old fashioned natural hair oil is such a simple way of ensuring moisture rich properties that benefit the hair and scalp. It's just a super simple solution that just works. But how can you ensure consistent use of hair healthy products? I get that a lot of people are still unsure as to how or when should you be using a hair oil. They're either worried that a hair oil will make your hair look greasy. I mean, oil, you know, kind of sounds like it would in the name, or they just don't even know how often they should be using it. Well, I've got a really simple simple rule of thumb. Every time that you style your hair after a fresh wash, throw in a few drops into damp hair. So if you wash your hair three times a week, uh, use a hair oil three times a week. Following these two simple steps, which is A, making sure you don't overwash your hair, and B, following up with a really natural hair oil a few times a week. If you follow these steps on a consistent basis, you'll be setting yourself up for a much healthier scalp slash hair combo because hair oil is really, really good for your scalp as well. In addition to be very, being very hydrating and moisturizing, for your hair. Now that we've covered some tips that can be applied both to hair and scalp, let's move on to some skin specific tips and then we'll round this video out with some hair specific tips. I'll be demonstrating these skincare tips using my new products from Bulk Ohm. And listen, when it comes to skincare, for me anyways, it's all about being able to follow a simple process. I've said it before and I'll say it again, a skincare routine that is easy enough to stay consistent with is a sure-fired way of getting results. Bulk Ohm is a skincare company developed by all men for men and it's a simple three-step skincare routine that takes less than five minutes to complete. Obviously, the first step in a skincare process is the face wash. No surprise there. I don't think anything revolutionary about that statement. The unique factor with Bulk Home, though, is how it's used. Uh, it feels really awesome, and, and I'll show you now. Basically, you get what they call a bubble net and briefly rinse it with water, and then you apply just a little bit of the face wash into the net and lather that bad boy up. You'll create an insane amount of lather by doing this. It feels kind of close to like a shaving cream in terms of the density, and then you just get your face wet and slap that lather all over. And even though you don't have to use the bubble net, it's a really gentle way of ensuring a thorough face wash and it feels great. I just haven't really experienced anything like it before. But here's one of my favorite skincare tips because it's so simple and yet so many people don't know it. And it's really helped drastically in my own skincare journey. Moisturizers work best if you use them within one minute of washing your face. So even if I wash my face in the shower, I will make sure that moisturizer is the first thing that goes on my face when I step out. And the reason is because because yes, moisturizers are designed to add hydration to your face, but they also help to lock in the moisture that's already on your face. So it's just way more effective to use a moisturizer right after you wash your face when it's still a little bit damp 
uh, just to make sure that all of that essential moisture can be locked in and your moisturizer is being used to its maximum potential. But for any of my dry skin brothers out there, moisturizer is even better achieved through the use of a toner. And this is something that um, more and more guys are starting to pick up on, but I think there's still a lot of guys who don't know what a toner is. So someone who hasn't used a toner before, it can look kind of odd, like, wait, I mean, is that just water? But hey, if you're dealing with dry skin and you throw some of this stuff on, you will feel the difference right away. The toner is designed to maintain optimum hydration in your skin and locks in moisture in a way that doesn't feel sticky or heavy at all. Finish off the routine with the lotion and you're setting yourself up with a system that will preserve moisture in your face all day. And that's what I love about this bulk home system. It's a simple three-step process to achieve healthy skin on your face in no time at all. You know, no BS, just results. An easy way to test this stuff out for yourself is by purchasing the travel set, which includes the face wash, toner, lotion, and a mini version of the bubble net for just $10 plus free shipping. So a full skincare routine for just $10 plus free shipping, I mean, you're not gonna be finding a better deal. If you wanna check it out, anything from bulk home, products, all that good stuff, I've got it linked down below. And now for some quick fire hair specific tips to round out this video. When it comes to blow dryers, there's two main kinds, all right? There's low end blow dryers, more budget friendly, and then there's high end, more expensive. If you've got a budget blow dryer, you wanna stick to medium heat. Cheaper blow dryers are not good at providing consistent heat and often start to heat up more than they intended to because of poor heat regulation. Higher end blow dryers, on the other hand, do a good job of keeping consistent heat. So even though it's hot, it's often a controlled level that is still okay to use. Now, whether you're using Using a low-end or high-end blow dryer, make sure that you always keep that blow dryer moving, never stationary. You never want to keep hot air in one place that can heat your follicles up too much. So if you're like me and you use a brush to style, instead of keeping the blow dryer still while moving the brush, make sure that your blow dryer moves with your brush to distribute the heat evenly. And when it comes to styling tools, you know I love using tools to style my hair, not just my hands. Uh, flat brushes are by far the most gentle that I've personally experienced. You can get killer results while making sure that you've got a tool that doesn't tug or pull at your hair. They are seriously super gentle, they come through easily, and they're versatile enough for a bunch of different hairstyles. It's seriously my favorite brush out there in terms of the performance and the control uh, max, ma matched with that gentleness and the fact that I don't feel like I'm ripping out my strands. Guys, I feel like we covered quite a bit in this video from hair to scalp to skin. Uh, all that good stuff. Hope that you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Again, thanks to Bulkom for sponsoring today's video, and I will see everybody next time.